Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. And this build is a big build in my opinion. And you're going to see that we have a lot of new features and also a lot of hidden features that I'm going to show you in this video. That's why the video was a bit delayed because I tried to make sure that I can show off most of the new features in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. The build that we're talking about today is the build 25,324. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave Leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all what you need to note about this build is that microsoft also provides isos for this build so you can just go ahead and access the official microsoft website select the addition click on confirm then you're going to have to select the product language for example english united states confirm and then you're going to have windows 11 client insider preview build 25324 first of all in this video i'm going to talk about the official features that were announced by Microsoft in the blog post from their website and then later on we're going to talk about the hidden features that were found in this build with the help of Phantom Motion 3 as well and other people that I'm going to mention when the time is right because we have a lot of hidden features in this build. First of all Microsoft is changing up the widgets board they are introducing an evolved widgets board that unfortunately I cannot preview right now because the ID for this is yet to be found but Microsoft is beginning to preview a revamp of the widgets board experience with a larger canvas three columns columns if supported by the device and dedicated sections for widgets and feed content with clear separation between them. This will provide users with quick access to glanceable content from their apps, services, as well as enable users to take a high value break from personalized news content. Of course, this is slowly rolling out so you may not see it right away. Also Microsoft is introducing the USB 4 settings page. They are adding support for USB 4 hubs and devices, inside Bluetooth and devices, USB and USB 4 hubs and devices, USB 4 and enables new productivity scenarios for docking, high performance peripherals, displays, and charging. More info about this in the article below in the video's description. Also, Microsoft is introducing a new unsafe password copy and paste warning. Starting with this build, Microsoft is trying out a change where users who have enabled warning options for Windows security under app and browser control, reputation-based protection, and phishing protection will see a UI warning on unsafe password copy and paste just as they currently see when they type in their password. This is yet again slowly rolling out so you may not see it right away. Also Microsoft is introducing SHA3 support. Starting with this build, they are adding support for the SHA3 family of hash functions and also derived functions. If you're interested in this, more info in the article below in the video's description. Another thing that Microsoft is starting to roll out is an animated icon for the widgets in the taskbar. The animation triggers when you hover over or click on the widgets taskbar entry point or when a new widget announcement is displayed on your taskbar. Currently, only a few weather and finance icons icons are supported. As you can see, we have a small little animation, but I'm just going to change the location to see another animation. I changed the location and now you can see yet another animation. I think this is pretty interesting and pretty nice. Of course, this is slowly rolling out again, but if you want me to make a separate video in which I show you how to enable this, I can do that. As I've said, thank you to Phantom Motion 3 for providing me the ID to enable this. You're going to have his Twitter link along with the others in the pinned comment below because they are doing a great job. And if you want to find out about hidden features earlier than others, you can of course follow them on Twitter. Search on the taskbar is also getting the new Bing AI icon and this will open up the Bing chat experience in Edge. This can also be enabled. I've made a different video yesterday. If you want to see how you can enable that, you can check out the video from yesterday. Microsoft also updated several simplified Chinese fonts and some Microsoft IMEs to support certain formats. More info about this in the article below. Also, as part of the deprecation of Microsoft support diagnostic tool and MSDT tribal shooters, Microsoft began redirecting some of the troubleshooters found on our setting system in troubleshoot and in other areas of the west to the new get help troubleshooting platform also if you have multiple cameras that support windows hello you can now select your preferred camera under settings accounts and sign in options regarding the file explorer microsoft made some changes which should noticeably help improve the performance of the calculating phase when sending a large number of files at once in file explorer to the recycle bin now let's talk about some hidden features in, in this build first of all the new desktop spotlight ui has been updated and and this could be reintroduced in a future build. Thanks to Tecosaurus Rex, sorry if I mispronounced your name, for finding this and providing some screenshots. Another hidden feature in this build that was discovered by Phantom Motion is available inside privacy and security for developers and below you should have create a dev drive. If you remember, I've made a video in which I showed you some of the new features that may be coming to the settings app. Well, this was one of the features, create a dev drive, optimized performance for developer scenarios. And as you can see here, you can create a dev drive for optimized performance 
performance or developer scenarios. And along with that, you can also create a virtual hard disk, VHD, basically create and mount a VHD or a VHDX to your system. These are some useful options for developers. Also, as you notice, maybe from the beginning of the video, the widgets board is now located in the right side of the taskbar when all the icons in the taskbar are set to left. Basically, if you go to taskbar settings, taskbar behaviors and set it to left, you'll be able to notice this new right alignment for the widgets icon. This is also a hidden feature. And thanks to Nitrona for discovering this and providing some ideas to help us preview it. Also, the quick settings sound output section is refined once again, and there is less padding and some new subtle lines to split each section. I think this is good that Microsoft is improving this also. In start settings, you can now notice a new option, show websites from your browsing history. You can turn this on and they will be shown in the start menu in the recommended section. The snipping tool also has a new recording keyboard shortcut, which is Win Shift plus R. If you use it, you'll be able to record fast using snipping tools. And also, if you're using the print screen button, you'll be able to quickly do a print screen. Microsoft is also trying out a taskbar version where you can hide the system trade date and time. And also, you can have a permanent notification counter. I wasn't able to enable this, but basically, you'll be able to have a taskbar without the clock and date. And also, you're going to have a permanent notification counter. For example, as you can see, I have one new notification when supposedly I would have zero notifications, I would have that icon with a zero number inside of it. So this is pretty much it for this build. Microsoft didn't provide any notes regarding fixes or known issues, but as they said, the Canary channel will have a limited documentation. I'm sure that they fixed quite a lot of small issues that were seen in previous builds. This is quite a big build. In my opinion, this is a pretty interesting one, has a lot of hidden features. And in the coming days, I can make videos in which I show you how to neighbor different hidden features from this build. Let me know in the comments what new features or hidden features you would want me to show off in a future video and I'm gonna make dedicated videos for those and maybe a separate video in which I will show you all the other hidden features that weren't as requested as the others. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.